What's up you guys? What's really really good? Welcome back to my Chanel. My name is Stacey Asabaka. If you've never been here before, if you have, hi girl. Oh my god, let's start with an outfit of the day. Today I'm wearing the shirt that I always wear from Zara. It's a bodysuit. And I'm wearing I'm wearing some old navy shorts, these cute little sandals from Marshalls that I got at one of the hauls we have. My Apoleca Jewel bag. And today I'm gonna be wearing the Audrey Sunnies from A Bug of Jewel. Let's go in the car so we can go get our nails done. I wanted to show you guys my nails before we actually went to get them done. Um, there's a little bit of growth. They're looking a little thick. And they also have a little bit of like chipping going on. So we're gonna go get them done right now. It's actually a Sunday, which honestly on the weekend I try to stay as far away from the nail salon as possible, but I'm hoping because it's a Sunday, like the rush of the weekend will already be done because you know, everybody already went to their parties or whatever. So hopefully it's not that packed. We're gonna drive by. If it's too packed, I don't think we're gonna stop by. If it's not that packed, then we can stop by, pero Yes, girl. Let's go get our nails done. We just got to a little placita where the nail shop is. It actually didn't look that bad. Like, it didn't look like there was that many people waiting outside. So, hopefully, it won't be that long and we could just get in and out. Last time, I had an amazing time here because they did a good job on my nails. It was only $45 or $55. And they got me in and out within an hour, okay? Now, one of the things that nail techs have that shops don't tend to really like focus on is nail art okay i will give the independent nail ticks that they're so good at nail art they take their time they make anything happen like if you literally want a little giraffe on your nails you're gonna get like a 3d realistic giraffe on your nails if you go to an independent artist now sometimes with the nail shops it could be like a hit or miss right sometimes they do amazing and other times you're just like what you order versus what you got on wish you know so i want to show you guys a little bit of the inspo that i have going on for this nail set now as you guys know it is summer i love bright colors and i really have been into like a pop of color like if you guys can tell on my instagram i've been loving pinks i've been loving green i've been loving purple like just like pastel colors that look super cute so for this next set i am feeling super inspired by the combination of pink and orange you know that sounds kind of crazy and you're gonna be like girl that's a lot going on i know it's a lot going on but we're gonna see if we can make it work okay now these nails are gonna be loud these nails are gonna be extra these nails are gonna be fun so just take into consideration this is kind of like a middle step between when i used to get my crazy nails and my regular nails because we are gonna be cutting some length this is the first set that i got inspired by these next ones i really really like and i feel like they're really simple like it's just one nail or one hand with one color the other one has just some squiggly lines like you can't really mess that up too much and we have this ones which i don't love but they were an option and these with the dots now i've done the dots before y no me convencieron completamente so we might not do these and these are like Cosmo Wanda vibes, which I've been really into, but I don't know if how I feel about the block. Ones I really, really like were these ones, but I feel like this is like next level art. Like it's a different level of art on every nail. Like you really have to make sure you go to somebody who really knows what they're doing. I think what I want to do is today I want to do kind of like a nail art beginner level to see how they do to make sure that they don't like completely just like not get it done you know and the next time for the next set we can go like art level i mean our nail art level like extreme we're gonna get off of the car right now and we're gonna go we're gonna see how much we weigh it's a sunday i try to stay away from nail shops and really everywhere on weekends because i just I know everything takes longer because people are doing like their weekend errands and stuff but you know it's because my boy my boyfriend I was gonna call my boyfriend my husband because my husband has days off in the middle of the week I actually try to take that as my weekend and my weekend tends to be like a little bit busier um that way I can get things done during the weekend that otherwise I would do when he's off. O sea, una que ya es esposa, quiero pasar tiempo con él, me gusta pasar tiempo con él, lo quiero mucho, ya saben. So, we're gonna go in there. Ah, I'm nervous. So, let me show you the nails one more time. These are the nails before. And let's go see the nails after.
bitch. Oh my god. I'm so embarrassed. Oh my god, you guys. The one time I asked her to change it. I'm so sad. I have a story time for you guys. I was gonna get nail art. I didn't end up doing it. Look, right now, just pink. I really tried to get nail art and I really was going for it and it was gonna be everything and then I couldn't. So let's go home because I wanna tell you guys the story time of what happened. Thankfully, everything's okay. Everything ended up working out and everybody's happy. She's happy, I'm happy. I just don't like confrontation because it makes me feel so like, oh, you know, pero bueno. I went in with the full intention of doing the design and here's my nails in natural light. Well, not natural lighting, but in my house lighting. So they're pink, they're really cute. I will say I really love this shape. I really love this color. I love the way they ended up coming out. Now, here's the deal. I feel like a lot of times, a lot of us are afraid to speak up when it comes to getting our nails done, like at least I have in the past, like there's been times where I have walked out of the nail shop with nails that I don't like or with colors that I don't like because I'm too afraid to say something because I don't want to hurt their feelings. I don't want to get in trouble for some reason, like if we weren't paying customers. And of course, there's always like a way to say things. Like I'm never going to be disrespectful and be like, I hate these. Hell no. I'm not like that. That's just not the kind of person I am. I'm also in the customer service world, so I would never want to be disrespectful to somebody doing customer service. First, she did the pink squiggly lines, and I was like, okay, cool. Like, they look like squiggly lines. Like, there's no science to squiggly lines, right? And then when she did the orange squiggly lines, I was started noticing that the lines were like too far apart. And I told her, I was like, okay, oh, make the lines closer so they're touching. And she's like, yeah. And so she would. Well, I, while I was sitting there and she was doing the lines, like I was already thinking to myself, I'll just go to another nail shop and like I'll have them do like a, a change of polish because that's something I've done in the past. Like I don't really speak up when I don't like it. And then I'll just go to another nail shop and I'll have them change the whole color. And like, I don't mind doing that, but obviously you walk out with something you don't love, you know? So anyway, when she started doing the other line, the third line, which was like a little yellow line, that's when I was like, okay, I really don't like this and I just don't think it's gonna work out for me. So I saw it and like I was, I, she had only done like one finger and I was like, is there any way that we can change the color? And she was like, oh, you wanna change the color? And I was like, yes, please. And then she was like, yeah, but I think she thought I meant the last color. Like I think she thought I meant like the last yellow color. And then I was like, yeah, can you make them like these ones? Like my, my simple hand. And she was like, oh, you wanna change the whole color? And I was like, yes, please. And then she just got, like you can tell she had like a shift in energy, like where she had been really nice to me before, like now she was just kind of like mad, you know? I just said, I was like, okay, like I was like, I'm sorry. And she was like, it's okay, like I'll do it. And then I was like, okay. So then she did it or whatever, like she just polished or she got the polish off real quick. She buffed out the nails real quick and then she just did a color change, which it didn't take her long. Here's the deal, you guys, like I just felt really bad because Obviously, I don't like to make anybody feel uncomfortable and I don't ever like to complain. You guys, like, if I get bad food at a restaurant, I hardly ever turn it back. Like I have to have three hairs in a plate of food to like r return it, you know? Like I'm the type of person that's like that. And with my nails, I usually let it go and I'm usually like, no, like, no, it's fine. But this time for some reason, I was like, no, like I really don't wanna walk out of here with nails that I don't love, especially because I found this nail shop and I love going to them. I love how quick they are. I love how affordable they are. I love how convenient they are. So I didn't want to have to go to another nail shop when I had already found one that I liked. And if I came back to that nail shop within like a day or like two days, they were going to be like, what are you doing here? You know? So even though it was a little bit of an inconvenience for her, I'm so grateful that she decided to change my nail polish for me. And I'm kind of glad that I decided to speak up because I feel like I just wouldn't have liked them, you know? So these, again, these are the nails. She did a really good job. I will tell you that, like she got them, she cut them a little bit shorter. My regular nails are already growing under and she did make them a little bit thinner and stuff. So I really, 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 really like them. They're like a really fun, like bright, color i really wish i would have loved the design but i do think that one thing that independent nail artists have over nail shops is that they're always gonna they're always gonna como se dice they're always gonna deliver when it comes to nail art like you can never compare 
an independent nail artist versus a nail shop because an independent nail artist is taking her time and a nail shop is working quick because they're working for commission. So am I gonna go back to the nail shop? Yes, 100%. Like even though it was like a little bit upsetting to her that I asked for a polish change, I really liked the nail shop. I would go back to her, she did a great job. And I understand like sometimes when people don't like your work or what sometimes when people are being like, hard you know like sometimes when people are being complicated and you just want to get it over with like you are probably like oh my god like this is so annoying you know but like i try my best to not be a complicated customer i really really do um but yeah i really did like my nails i would go back definitely let me know what you guys think um do you normally get nail art when you go to nail shops and are you typically satisfied with it i feel like if i never would have had independent nail artists touch my hands i wouldn't have anything to compare it to but because i've seen i've seen some amazing nail art on my hands when i go to an independent nail artist i just i wouldn't have felt comfortable you know like maybe if it was another design i don't know like all the all the girls working there had really cute nails like they have really cute different designs so maybe next time i'll get something different you know si me toca otra girl i will say it was a different girl this time because i just walked in and they did see me under an hour. So all of that happened within an hour. So still 10 out of 10 on time, 10 out of 10 on price. I ended up paying the same as last time. And yeah, that's gonna be it for me. Las quiero mucho, mucho, mucho. Que Dios me las bendiga. Quédate mucho, respetate más. And I'll see you guys at the next video.